In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a Type 7B U-boat in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we are here to help you build bigger and to help you build better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more ship tutorials like this one, I've got tons on the channel, and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description, to a full playlist that you can check out. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. All right then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial and here is the U-boat out of water, of course, so that you guys can see every single bit of it. Um, so in terms of the dimensions of this one, it is 66 blocks long, it is nine blocks wide and 11 blocks high. The materials that you can make this one out of can vary really. Um, so this one is a version in stone to give it that kind of lighter gray kind of metal look. Um, for the tutorial, I'm actually gonna be making it out of polished deep slate. So uh, what you're going to need materials wise is going to be a slab, a stair and a block. All right. So you're going to need those three. We'll grab other blocks as we go, such as for the propellers and things like that. But those are going to be your primary materials. If you guys want to make a little kind of a rectangle for it, it's not really that little really. But if you want to make a rectangle for it, you can do. And I'll be showing you how to make this one fit in this rectangle. Okay. So if you do have it kind of moored up, that will definitely help. So you can kind of see the, the right at the front is that line, okay? So that's what's going on there. If you're building it underneath the water, of course it's a submarine, so you can go all the way under or whatever. Um, but what I would say is water level, you could have it at that level. And what that means is if your water's there, uh, so if you had it, you know, surface, that will give you a nice amount of area to kind of walk around and you'll be able to see the whole thing. Uh, but you could have it where just the conning tower is sticking up. But if you had it here, you'll be able to see the whole kind of thing going on, the whole ship. So that would be right here, one, two, three, four, and five blocks. And then this layer right here is gonna be your first layer if you wanted to do it that way, okay? But that's where I'd probably recommend it. You could have it a little bit more, so it's right next to, you know, your water level's right next to it, or even have the whole thing submerged. You know, it, it's really up to you guys, whatever you wanna do. But anyway, let's get into the layer by layer part of this tutorial. All right, and for layer number one, what we're gonna do is right in our rectangle, we're gonna find the middle, which is right here, and we're gonna go back a total of eight blocks. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight right here. Then with your slab material, like I said, for me, it's gonna be polished deep slate to give it a kind of dark gray look, almost black look really. Um, but you could do it out of stone, you could do it polished andesite, uh, anything at all that you've got a slab and a stair for, you know, go, have fun. Uh, paint it. It'll make it interesting, you know. Uh, but right here, you're going to have a total of four upper slabs. So one, two, three, and four. You're then going to have a block right behind that. So there you go. You get four slabs on the upper and then a block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go out with one slab here like that. And we're going to have five blocks behind. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I know it says a couple of gaps. We're going to sort those out a little bit later, you know, just before we finish up this level. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to have 23 slabs. So we go out again. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Move inwards with your blocks, and you're going to have six of these. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is just diagonal from that slab. Six blocks there. With two slabs on the end, 1 and 2 move in again and you're going to have three blocks one two and three and then we're going to have five slabs on the end one two three four and five so we'll do the same on the other side now so because this one's relatively small we're going to have a slab coming out then what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of what was it five blocks yep yeah, one two three four five then 23 slabs which i'm not going to count i'm just going to line it up with the other side and keep pulling back until we get very close to there. There we go, knock it down by one. Then one, two, three, four, five, six of our blocks. Then two slabs there like that. Now we've got the filling in part to do. So grab your block material, whatever that may be, and just block up this floor. You could do slabs if you wanted to, but uh, at least with blocks you can place beds and you can place well, everything else really. So um, I tend to go for the blocks uh, when you've got enough of an interior space. Uh, this one is very small though on the interior. So uh, if you guys haven't seen it, which you haven't because I haven't shown you, uh, it is pretty much this kind of like three by, what is that, four? Yeah, three by four blocks, gonna get four and a half. So it is gonna be very cramped, but uh, yeah, that is what we've got. But guys, that's it for layer number one. 
So let's get on to the next one. On to layer number two now, guys. You're going to need some extra materials. You're going to need an acacia fence gate and also waxed cut copper stairs for the propeller. So it's going to be the propeller shaft for this one, and this is going to be the propeller pit. Okay. So what we're going to do at the front is we're going to be forwards by one, and we're going to go one, two, and three. So we're going to have three blocks coming forwards. So we can now get rid of these little guide blocks that we put in. There you go. So get those there. And on the end, you're going to have one slab like that. Leave a block, go to the next one, and this is where your next slab is going to be. So leave that block, next one there, that's where your slab is. We're then going to have four blocks behind, one, two, three, and four, like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go out and we're going to have four slabs. So one, two, three, and four. Then there's going to be 32 blocks behind. Yeah, quite a long run. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, like that. Add two slabs on the end, one and two. Then we're going to move inwards right to... Uh, okay, so we got what we got, was that? Two... It's not two, it's four. It's one, two, three, and four. I was thinking things aren't looking right. Um, then you're going to move in with one block, okay? And then you have two slabs, one and two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then on the end, you're going to have one slab like that. That looks better. I thinking things aren't lining up. It's not the way that it's supposed to look. There we go. Right, so the other side now, guys, other side. So we're going to have one slab on the side. Then four blocks, one, two, three, four. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have four slabs. So one, two, three, four. And then behind this, we're gonna have 32 blocks. I am not gonna put those, not gonna count them all. I'm just gonna bring this back and get it in line. I tend to do this with the longer stuff, as you guys know. So it's much easier. There we go, get it into line with that. Then we're gonna have those four slabs on the end, one, two, three, four. Move in with one block, and then have two slabs, one and two. Just like that, there we go, that looks better, doesn't it? Right, so at the front, this one's nice and easy. We just use our blocks and we can just block it up. You can, of course, if you want to, put in like lower slabs for these ones. Actually, all of them, really. Um, it's totally up to you guys. For me, I'm just gonna put in blocks. I always find that the lower parts of the ships, blocks work better because you can then, you know, put beds or um, chests or anything like that on top of the blocks. You can't do it on the slabs. But if you did it in slabs, it can sometimes help you to figure out where everything's going. All right. So now what we're going to do before we fill in these little gaps here is we're going to be putting in the uh, rudder pieces, okay? So we're going to be doing that, all the propellers. So uh, where we've got these two slabs here, we have that block and two slabs, that's where we're going to start from. And we're going to have a total of six um, acacia fence gates. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Then with our propeller, we're going to build this. It's going to go into the next level, but we're going to have a normal stair this way, okay? So facing in that way. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down on the end of it, like, like that there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have, I think it's over here, is an upside down that way. And I want to say a normal one, or that way. There we go, that's the one. So what you want to try and do is, yeah, you have that stair there, upside down that way, upside down there, then a normal one that way, okay? And that'll give you a nice little... Uh, two by two propeller, the best we can do. So we get upside down stair there. The upside down is going to be this way. I'm going to have to look at it as well. Um, on the inside, we've got that stair there like that. Okay. And then we got that upside down there like that. I've messed something up on this one. There we go. That's what I've done. That one there, it's actually that way. There we go. That's what you should get. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four five and six like that that'll then connect in i know it doesn't connect in the middle it's the best i could do um to make it kind of look like it's the right size propeller for the ship but uh yeah you know it is what it is so what we're going to do then on the inside of this we can now block these up one two three four one two three four i'm just using blocks again one two and then finally we've got an extra couple bits to do right at the back now so the first thing we're going to have is a lower slab. That lower slab is going to be diagonal from this slab here. Okay, so lower slab right there. Then we're going to have an upside down stair on the back of this. Okay, so that's what we're going to go for. So upside down stair, get there eventually, right there like that. Okay, so it's all kind of connected and you'll see the main piece goes across it in a sec. So that's what we're going to do, uh, not in a sec, 
next level really layer whatever um but there we go that's it for layer number two for layer number three now we're going to come forwards with another block so one block coming forwards from your slab there have a slab on the front of that one then what we're going to do is we're going to have a um a slab on the side and there's going to be four blocks behind so one two three and four then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair now, okay? So upside down stair, first stair we've got in this build, I think, apart from the back, you know what I mean? But um, in the main body, but we will start doing more as we go up to the shape. So we get a stair there just like that with 17 blocks behind. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Then we're going to have 11 slabs coming out, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to move in. We're going to have 16 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm just going to have to double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two slabs on the end of that one. 1 and 2. Then move in with one block. So one block there. We have two slabs on the end of it. And we're going to move in. We're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. And then finally, we're going to have an upside down stair on that one there like that. What we're also going to do on the, uh, the stairs that we've got here, we're going to have a block on top of those ones like that. Then when we've got this upside down stair, have a lower slab and come out twice with that. So there we go. Two slabs coming out like that. Okay. So for, all for this back piece there. Right, let's do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to some of these little stabilize things. All right, so we're going to have a slab on the side there like that. Four blocks behind, one, two, three, and four. Then an upside down stair right in there like that. Behind that stair now, we're going to have 17 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Come out with your slabs, and you're going to have 11 slabs, so one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Move in with 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Have two slabs on the end, 1 and 2. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one block with two slabs like that. There we go. So now we can fill up these gaps now. So fill those up. Again, if you want to put slabs in, you can. The ones on the side here can just go with full blocks or you can do slabs yet again but yeah fill in those gaps you don't want the water all coming through so the only problem with uh, building these in survival or without world edit in the water is you have to then use uh, your sponges to get rid of everything but there we go that gives us that so what we're going to do for these little stabilizers now is where we've got that first stair that we built leave two blocks then we're gonna have a slab then a stair then from that stair have a slab coming out and then have a slab going back so that's the shape you get. Slab, stair, slab, slab, like that, all right? So slab, stair, slab comes out, slab goes back. And that will give you that there. Cool. But uh, guys, that is it for layer number three. So let's get on to the next one. For layer number four, what we're going to do is we're going to place one block directly on top of the last layer. So where we had that slab, that's going to be our starting point with one block. We're then going to have an upside down stair on the front of this and also an upside down stair on the side of that block. Behind that stair, we are going to have a total of four blocks, one, two, three, and four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go out with a block. So a little bit different than we've been doing, but we're going to have a total of 15 of these going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one slab coming out and behind this slab, we're going to have a total of 17 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like that. Add a slab on the end like that. Then move inwards, and we're going to have 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Add a slab on the end of that one. Then we're going to move inwards with two blocks, one and two. We're going to have two slabs on the end of this one, one and two. Move in and we're going to have one block right here, and then two slabs like that. 
Gonna do the same on the other side quickly and then we'll fill in the gaps and all that stuff, right? And, and also finish up the rudders. Um, so right on the side here, or propellers and rudders. No, just the rudders. <laughs> Put a stair anyway, un upside down on the side of this one. We're four blocks behind, one, two, three, four. Go out and we're gonna have a total of 15 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Go out of one slab. Then we're gonna have 17 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Add a slab on the end of that one as well. Then move inwards with 16 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Going to have one slab on the end of that one. Then we're going to have two blocks. Then two slabs. Like that. Okay. Right, so on the front we'll fill this one in first. There's nothing up there actually, is there? No. So it's just this block right here. There we go. Uh, we've got a block right here. And we got these ones here, block, block, block and block. Right, so for the uh, rudder pieces now, what we're going to do is, right where we've got this block, that's going to have a normal stair going onto it. So end up with just a little stair there, like that. Turns out actually that's literally it. I don't know why I didn't, <laughs> I don't know why I waited until now to do it. But uh, that, guys, is it for layer number four. For layer number five, same as before really, where you're going to put a block on the last layer, that's going to be your starting point. This time we're going to have an upside down stair just on the side, nothing on the front, okay? So just a, a block on the side. Behind that block you're going to have a total of four blocks, so one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to have a normal stair, so this is going to be an anchor, it's just on one side, okay? I think on this one I've got it on the other side as well, but you're going to have a little place for an anchor just on one side and it's on the right hand side of the ship. So that's where you can have that. We're then going to have one block behind, like that. Then we're going to have a lower slab diagonal from that one. That's going to be our next bit. Then 11 blocks behind this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we're going to go out with one upper slab. So we're going back to the upper slabs now. And we're going to have 21 blocks behind. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then add a slab on the end of that one, okay? So upper slab on the end. Moving inwards, we're going to have 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that. And there's going to be one slab on the end of that one. Move inwards now, and we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have two slabs on the end, one and two. Right at the back here, we're just going to have a block and then have another block here like that, okay? So we're going to fill in the gaps just on this side. Something we haven't done. <laughs> For some reason I'm switching it up. Also fill in the block right there. And in fact, on this front one, we're also going to need to put a block in right here, okay? So leave this gap here, have one there, and it's because we've got these upside down stairs and we need to block uh, a couple bits up. It's actually this one right here that we're putting the block in because this one I think is okay. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I really have no idea. Right, no, I've got to actually move it by one, so put it there and then have one there. That's right. Okay, I'm just confusing myself, don't worry guys. Um, hopefully I'm not confusing you too much. But upside down stair first, then we're going to have those four bl blocks, one, two, three, four. Now because that is going to be the place where we've got the anchor, we're now just going to put four blocks in instead. So one, two, three, four. So no stair. Where we've got these blocks right here, we're going to have a slab. Okay, so just one block back, then get your slab like that. With 11 blocks behind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out with one slab, like that. And 21 blocks behind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Add a slab coming out from that one. Move inwards with 16 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Add a slab on the end. Move inwards with four blocks, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to have two slabs at the back, 1 and 2, like that. And we'll do the filling in part of it. So I'm pretty sure it's, I, I kind of feel it's better to do it at the end for both layers. And because when you're looking over at the other side, you kind of go, uh, doesn't line up, but uh. I don't know. Let me know, guys. And then on this side, yeah, another block right in there like that, okay? 
But there we go. That is it for layer number five. On to layer number six. If you come forwards with an upside down stair, that's going to be your starting point. Now what we're going to do, guys, is you're going to have three blocks. One, two, and three. Now we're going to have an upside down stair on the inside part here. There's a couple of little notches that kind of happen with this uh, sub. So this is the best we can do. So that's what we're going to go for. Upside down stair there. Then a block. Then an upside down stair there like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of two blocks. One and two. Then an upside down stair. Then a block. Then an upside down stair. And now those blocks make sense that we put on the last layer there like that. Diagonal from that stair, we're gonna have two slabs, one and two, like that. Now with our stairs, we're gonna have a total of four. So one, two, three, but the fourth one, so these are normal stairs. We're gonna have a one wrapped around there like that. So one, two, three, and the last one is wrapped around just like that, okay? Then what we're gonna do right here is we are gonna have an upside down stair. Then we're gonna have a block then an upside down stair. Then we're gonna have a block behind it like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come diagonal from this one and we're gonna have 18 slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, like that. Now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna move in with one of these. So move in one block. And we're then gonna have an upside down stair, which I didn't put the block in for that one. That's really annoying, but I like a block in down there while you're there. Okay, and we're gonna have a total of four sets of these. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, okay? Like that, so one, two, three, four. So you end up with just block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair. We're then gonna have three blocks, one, two, and three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a total of six stairs. The first one is gonna be here, so it's gonna be going that way. Then we have four going just normal, like this way. So one, two, three, four. Then the uh, last one, the sixth one, is gonna be wrapped around that way. So you end up with that stair going that way, sideways ones that way, stair that way, like that, okay? Just to make it a little bit smoother in the transition as it gets thinner towards the back. We are then gonna have a total of two slabs, one and two. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go diagonal, we're gonna have a block. Then at the back, we're gonna have four stairs and these are gonna be wrapping around again, same as that kind of pattern. So you go one that way, two in the middle, go normal. Then one at the end like that. Then right at the back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one slab here and then one stair at the back like that. So now what we can do, okay, is well, if we'll do it on the other side first. Let's do it on the other side first, it's gonna be much easier. So what we've got right on the front now is gonna be a total of three blocks, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have an upside down stair, then a block, then an upside down stair. Then we're gonna have two blocks, one and two, then an upside down stair here like that, then one block, then an upside down stair like that. Now what you'll notice is that this works out quite nicely uh, and lines up where you've got this one, which is where the anchor would be, this side here just has that little notch in there instead. So quite like that. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be just diagonal from this upside down stair that we've got in here. And we're gonna have a total of two slabs. So one, two. We're then gonna have four stairs, one, two, three. And then that fourth one is gonna be wrapped around this way like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an upside down stair here. Then a block then an upside down stair, and then a block on the back of that one, or on the end of that one. Then a total of 18 slabs now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Then what we're gonna do is, just like we did before, those four sets of block stairs, we're gonna do that in there now, okay? So block, stair, so that's one, two, three, four like that. So block stair, block stair, block stair, block stair, block stair. Okay. All right. Then we're going to have three blocks on the end, one, two, and three. Then with our stairs, one going this way towards the front of the ship, four going towards the middle of the ship, one, two, three, four. And then one at the end going towards the front of the ship or you're facing towards the front of the ship, if that makes sense. 
then two slabs, one and two. Then what we are going to do right here is we're going to have a block. Then we're going to have four stairs. We're going to have one wrapped around here, two facing the middle, and then one facing the front of the ship there like that. Then we're going to have one slab on the end like that as well. Okay. Now it's up to you guys with kind of like filling in these little gaps. Um, you could just go with slabs in here to make the maximum amount of headspace. Though when you get to the ones like this, it's kind of, well, what's the point in having that little kind of edge bit, you know, that little uh, slab. Uh, so you could end up getting rid of that. But then again, you could actually put in an extra slab down the bottom there. So if you want that, go with it. Uh, so we're just going to put that in there. We're going to do the same on the sides here as well. So bring this over this upper slab here. That will then fill that in. Now we're not going to fill in the entire deck yet. We're actually going to do that once I learn where everything goes. <laughs> but there we go. So on this side here, we're going to have a block and then a slab there like that. But there we go. Right. So now let me learn where the uh, conning tower is and then we'll get into putting in the rest of the deck. All right, so finishing up layer number six, we're putting in the decking now that I know where everything is. Where we've got the slabs on the side here, we're gonna go one, two, three, go to the fourth block, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of guide us. Put in a red block there, so leave three slabs there like that, go to the fourth one, and that's where we're gonna end up starting. Okay, so we're gonna have two here, two slabs going towards the front of the ship. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one over that one, we're going to have the same on the other side, two there. We're then going to leave a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go to the next one and just have one slab. And then we're going to have one slab out and then one slab like that. So you end up with two, six, and a one as this kind of middle area. Now up to the front where we're going to be is where we had the two blocks and then an upside down stair. This is where your slabs are going to be up to. So we can now put in upper slabs up to that point. And it's because it raises a little bit at the front. There we go. So put in these slabs here. Like that. I actually think I prefer the uh, light grey version rather than the, uh, the the darker deep slate version by quite a fair margin. <laughs> and then just at the back, what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of four slabs from this back one. So that includes this one you got here. So one, two, three, and four. Four slabs. Then we're going to have an iron trap door. That's going to be one of the ways into the ship. So that's going to be right there. And you're going to have another one on the top of the conning tower. So there we go. Those are the two. So now what you're going to do is with your slabs, bring this all the way to the back. So that can then fill in this nice gap here. All the way with your upper slabs to give you as much headspace as you can really. Because uh, submarines are small. <laughs> so I'm glad that we've now got so many different uh, slabs in the game at least. Because doing this... And the old school way of just blocks did make it very cramped. But there we go. So that's what you'll end up getting for most of the ship now. So you can then start to kind of look at what you want to do and what you want to plan and all that stuff. Um, so guys, now what we'll do is we'll do the front little bit. And uh, we'll then get on to the final bit, which is the conning tower. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is finish up the hull. So right at the front here, guys, where we've got this gap, we're going to have a lower slab in here like that. Then we're going to have five slabs on the side. One, two, three, four, and five. Then two blocks. Then one block at the front. Two blocks right here. Have two upper slabs right here like that. You can have another upper slab going back. Do the same on the other side down with the five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then in the middle, we're just going to have slabs to join this up. Like that. There we go. So you end up with that one, five. You can see that little block that sticks out there, but we did it with a slab. I think it blocks around just to kind of finish up that bit there. Then the conning tower. What we're going to do right here, guys, is we're going to have a slab over this gap right at the front. Then a block. Then we're going to have a total of four blocks. Well, actually, we're going to do six blocks in total. Uh, let's get it. Yeah, let's get the base done first. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One block at the back. So we get one two, three, four, five, and six, like that. At the front, we're just going to add another block on the front here. No, we're not. We're definitely not going to do that. We're going to add another uh, four blocks on the sides. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Then add a block around the side there, like that. At the back, with our stairs, we're going to have a normal stair here, normal stair here, normal stair at the back. So we're going to do the stairs there. 
And then over the top of these, we're going to have upside down stairs as well. Like, we'll get there eventually, like this. Okay, so one, two. With the next level now, we're going to basically be doing the same thing. It's just up by one. So we go one, two, three. And we're going to wrap this one around. And we just wrap those around like that. And then we do the same thing where we've got upside downs on those as well, okay? So we can end up getting this nice kind of protected area at the top like that. Now with our slabs, put the slabs in here, apart from this one right here. This is where you're going to have an iron trapdoor, which is going to be a way in. You could, of course, just use a normal trapdoor as well. It depends if you want your base to kind of be locked away or not, really. Um, but that's where you end up having everything going like that, okay? So that's what we end up getting there. Now what we're going to do right at the front is we are going to leave from this slab one block, place down a polished deep slate wall, then put an anvil on top, and with your polished deep slate slab, and that, you know, in my grey version, I included that slab as well for that bit, place that on the back of the anvil. Then with your lightning rod, place two lightning rods coming out, and then I knock this one back there, so you get the chunky bit against the anvil, and the chunky bit at the end for your main gun. Okay. Then for a couple of little bits of like sensors or whatever, I placed down a uh, what's called lightning rod right on the front of this one. We're going to need to grab a couple extra bits now, so I'm just going to clear my inventory a little bit because we're right right near the end. Grab yourself an iron bar, polished deep slate wall, uh, dark oak fence gate, lightning rod, and also an end rod as well. And what we're going to do is right here. I had an end rod on either side, is just a kind of general little sensor, which is a little bit smaller than the lightning one. Now you could also, if you want to make it look a little bit odd. Not really odd, but just, uh, you know, asymmetric rather than symmetric. You could just have them off by one that might look, make it look better. Actually, I do think that makes it look a little bit better. I don't know why. Um, but what we're going to do at the back now is we're going to have two iron bars here, two iron bars there, one in the middle there, polished deep slate wall right in between those and let it all connect up. Then on this, we're going to have a dark oak fence gate, just one block back. Punch that through have a lightning rod, okay, but we want the chunky part of the lightning rod to be at the back of that, like that. And then with your end rod, we want it the other way around. So in order to do that, we need to, because these then end up connecting, we need a block of some kind. Let's just grab slab. So what we're going to do is going to have a block right here. So you can put an end rod on, so you can get the end rod on the end. So you get the end of it there, like that, the end of the gun, just like that. Then finally, guys, a little bit extra is going to be where we've got this block in line with that. We're going to have iron bars going back. And then we're going to go three past. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure it's three past anyway. So where you've got the block, bring that back. Then one, two, three, uh, four. Is it three? Pretty sure. One, two, three. Yeah, it's three past. There we go. Like that there. But guys, that's it for the tutorial. Um, so I personally prefer the stone. I think it looks way better than the uh, polished deep slate. Hopefully that was okay as well. Doing it in deep slate, did that help? Or do you prefer it in something like polished andesite? I think I personally prefer it in polished andesite for tutorialing. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you want more content like this one, make sure to, uh, you know, check out the channel, check out the playlist. And also, guys, if you can, please do support me on Patreon. It keeps this channel going. I really appreciate all of my Patreon uh, supporters. Without you guys, I would not be here as a channel. So thanks, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Yes.